So I'm 32. I was in $304,000 of debt at 22 years old. That was a decade ago. We had built a net worth to $3 million plus. People think it's really complicated and it's really not. And I'm going to share exactly how we got there in the 16 steps it took in order to become financially free. Now, some of these 16 steps are actually pretty basic. The first one is building an emergency fund. I can't tell you how important this step was the entire time because we had the security blanket to make the moves and the financial risks that we took. We were able to move at a quicker pace than the average person. If we didn't have three to six months of expenses in our high yield savings account this whole entire time, it would have made life a lot more stressful. And therefore I probably wouldn't have taken as many risks as we actually did. But because we had this, because we had other financial security, it allowed us to take risks that the average person could not. And it actually sped our wealth up as a result. So a lot of people think an emergency fund's boring, but what it did was provide a sense of comfort and it took us to a whole nother level as a result. Number two is paying off significant debt. Like I said, we had $304,000 of debt. Now in total, we had $76,000 of non-mortgage debt and $228,000 of mortgage debt. We wiped out $76,000 of non-mortgage debt in just one year at the age of 23 years old. And then from there, we actually wiped out our whole house, which was $228,000 in five years. And if you want to learn more as why we did that check in the right hand corner and i'll show you exactly the reason behind that but by paying off this debt we had a systematic approach to this entire process this was like guessing so when people come to me and they can't tell me how fast they're going to pay off debt the exact principal the exact interest everything about it that just tells me they don't have a system and if they want a system they would sign up for budget dog academy in the show notes below to work with my team one-on-one -on -one to take you to the next level but that's the obvious go and a lot of people decide to struggle and i don't really know why number three is budget meticulously if i can't budget, I don't know my cash flow and therefore I don't know anything about my financial picture and it's the part of everybody's financial plan. If you want a good financial plan, you got a budget. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It is not a deterrent. It should be a tool in your tool belt to actually help you get ahead faster. If you know where everything's going, you feel less guilty about spend, you spend more money, and you can actually use it wisely to your advantage. So a lot of people have this backward mentality about a budget being cheap or you know cumbersome. In reality, it's totally reversed and it actually speeds your process up, makes things simpler, and provides you less stress. Get a budget. Save it least 20% of your income. Now that wasn't always the case for us. There was no chance in the beginning of time that we saved 20% of our income, but we made a point to get to that point. So what we did was in the beginning, we started with 5% and we slow and steadily added to the pie. We did not change our lifestyle the whole entire time as we increased our savings rate. So when you first start guys, you're not going to save a ton of money. That's just part of the game, but you can put a system in place to set the standard. And every time you get a raise, every time you make more money, it should go to that exact savings fund and you will increase your savings rate with time eventually try to get to 20%, it will change your life forever. Number five, invest into ETFs and low cost index funds. I can't tell you based on all the data out there, and I can tell you a million and one data points as to why this is the best avenue for everyone out there. Everyone, except if your name is Warren Buffett or Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk, low cost ETFs and index funds are the best route. And in fact, Warren Buffett's on record saying that many a times. The data is skewed in your favor. It's kind of like going to the casino, but actually being the casino versus the actual person that walks into the casino and loses money. You have a very high price probability to make a lot of money and earn a lot of money. And it's the best chance to build real long-term wealth. So ETFs and low cost index funds are the way to go. I talk about them all the time, how to build a portfolio. If you want to see how to build a portfolio, click in the top right hand corner and I'll show you exactly how to do so. Number six is using tax advantage accounts. I know TikTok lied to you, but I promise that 401ks, IRAs, and HSAs are some of the best accounts out there. I'm going to put all details in the show notes below of exactly these three accounts. And you can actually take advantage of these today because they are tax advantage. And if you aren't taking advantage of these right now, you are doing yourself a disservice. Number seven, invest early and often. Let me share a stat that's going to blow your mind. If you start investing age 20, it only takes $290 a month to become a millionaire by 60. Now I get not everybody wants to be a millionaire by 60, but I'm trying to share a story that means a lot about time. So invest early and often. I say this for a good reason, because if you wait till 30, that $290 a month becomes $670 a month. And if you wait till 40, it becomes $1,700 a month. And if you wait till 50, it becomes $5,500 a month to become a millionaire by 60. You don't want to put yourself at a disservice. It makes sense. It is cheaper and it's much easier to start when you're young. So do not make excuses that you want to live it up and you'll take care of things later. You will just put yourself at a harder position down the road. Number eight is be a robot and automate your finances. If you think that you're going to manually 
outperform me when I'm automated, you are a psychopath. You're not going to. There's a lot of data to suggest this as well, that automation is going to be the name of the game and it's going to change your life forever. So automate your finances. That goes for debt pay downs, that goes for bill pay, and that goes for investments. Number nine is maintain consistency. When you go through this process, you have to build a sustainable system. If you build something that's not sustainable, you're going to crash and burn really quick and it's not even worth starting because you're going to hate your life. Build something that's sustainable. This is what I help people in Budget Dog Academy do, which is my lifetime mentorship program. I help build financial roadmaps that are sustainable, that are actually long lasting. And the reason we get huge results that we do is simply because of Budget Dog Academy doing it the right way, the long way, and the fundamental way. And as you see on the screen, the wins pile in. And number 10, keep educating yourself. Education's the name of the game, guys. If you don't know something, you're not going to do better. When you know better, you do better. If you knew what Warren Buffett knew, you'd be as rich as Warren Buffett. There's no secret about that, but I don't think people really grasp that concept. They don't value education as much as they should, and that's why they're behind the eight ball. If they knew better, they'd do better. And so this is where Budget Dog Academy has a supreme advantage in the marketplace because my students know more than you. And whether you like that or not, they just do. And it's also why they get better results. But if you want to join, and you want to take it to the next level, you easily can in the show notes below and book a free call with my team today. So number 11 and 12 is creating multiple streams of income and also consistently increasing your income. So these are two different things, but one and the same. Income is super important. It's not the only driver for success. And I think a lot of people think, well, because you earned a lot of money, that's why you're wealthy. That's not true at all. If I earned a lot of money, that does not mean I'm wealthy. That means I have a system I'm putting my money into and I'm moving at a faster rate than the average person because I'm making more money, but I'm also in investing more money in a systematic way. And so I can speed the process up by marrying the two concepts together. So when I first started, I only made $50,000 a year at Deloitte. So I wasn't making a ton of money, but I had a systematic approach. And I started then. And every time I got a raise, I kept my living standard the same, but I kept increasing my income. And when I increased my income, I started taking that active income and I started buying assets like stocks, like real estate, like businesses. And now the three big ones, businesses, stocks, and real estate are now paying me more in multiple streams of income. When you first start, you're not gonna have multiple streams of income that are significant. But now I get paid dividends. Now I get paid real estate income. Now I get paid for my business interest. Because of the system that I set up, I increased my income. I kept my living standard the same. I took the active income and I put it into cash flowing assets. This game is not hard. You're making it harder than it needs to be. Number 13 is resisting lifestyle inflation. As you earn more money, you will have other peers start to get better cars, better houses, and you will move up with them if you don't pay attention. We did not do this. And this is why we got wealthy very quick because we stayed at the same living standard at 23 as we did at 32, but we took all the extra income and invested that money. And that's why we moved so fast. But a lot of people want to make excuses as to why they got to upgrade their lifestyle but they could always just keep it super simple. Number 14 is avoiding FOMO investing. FOMO investing is a fear of missing out. So many people do this with the dot-com era, with the crypto era, with the weed era. It doesn't really matter what it is. It's always some new hot stock commodity and it's going to hold you back really, really bad. So you gotta stop wasting your time trying to get the next degraded stock. Do the fundamentals, do the basics. It's gonna work long-term and that's what really, really moves the needle. Number 15 and 16 is take full accountability and also maintain a long-term vision. So when you're doing this, it's a sustainable process that takes a long period of time. You're not going to get rich tomorrow. It will take a decade. It will take maybe two decades, but eventually you'll be out of that workflow and you can literally start this at 20 years old, 25 years old, and be out of the workforce at 45 years old and be free. You can do whatever you want, whenever you want, but you have to have a long-term sustainable engine. You have to maintain consistency, build parameters around it. When you go to the bowling alley, literally put the bowling bumpers up in the gutter so that you don't miss the that you're trying to hit. It's super simple when you put parameters and build systems around yourself to account for you as a human because you are human at the end of the day and it's okay, but you have to take that into consideration when you're building this long term. And that's ultimately what we did to build a $3.1 million net worth at the age of 32. It wasn't anything crazy. It was the fundamentals for a long period of time doing all of this stuff. So instead of saying, I'm going to skip this video and go to the next hot stock, just apply what I just talked about. And I guarantee if you do this for six months or a year or two years, you'll start to see significant progress because all my students see it all the time. We can show on the screen exactly the results they're getting on a daily basis. So if you want to be that next person, go in the show notes below and apply, take this to the next level, upgrade your financial life and make your life a lot easier going forward. It's on you to change your family future. Nobody else is coming for you, not even Trump or Harris. And I will see you guys next week.